And we're live. Welcome to the 22nd sprint of the Common Stack uh, call or our work or whatever we're doing. This is this is our review call. This is the silviculture sprint. I will let Tam introduce that one. Uh, we're all speaking through Tam's mic because we're all, so many of us are here in person, uh, despite the different backgrounds. Yeah, that's cool, right? Ooh, ooh, look at that! Look at that! What a table! What a table! <laughs> Uh, but I'll just dive right into it and share my screen. There's uh, This is actually the first sprint review we've done, amazingly, the first sprint re review, review that we've done since we've actually uh, hatched, which is crazy, right? It feels like it was so long ago, but I guess we did our last review right on the day before the hatch was done, but the TC is hatched. Yes, thank you all for participating. Amazing turnout. There was uh, 206 uh, hatchers that put funds in and a total of 273 people that ended up with TEC hatch tokens. And then uh, there were only 306 ish, 303 trusted seed members that were even possible to participate. So incredible turnout from our community to support the TEC. Uh, so thank you so much to everyone who jumped in. This is the final number over one and a half million dollars. Uh, just incredible. That's a lot of that's a lot of support for token engineering right there. Also, uh, speaking of money, hey, it's the uh, top of the month. So uh, Freshel and I got to work together on the budget. Uh, we're running a little low on funds in the association. If anyone wants to pay membership dues, hey, we're always down. Right now, we're set to run out of money on November 30th. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, but it's, it's OK. Membership dues come in, and uh, I'm sure we'll be OK. Uh, but the community is doing really well. We have these two separate pots. We have the legal entity that really controls uh, that pays the core team salary. And then we have the community pot, which is uh, doing uh, a little bit more uh, crazy stuff like uh, DeFi yielding and, and things, because it's not actually necessarily attached to the association in Switzerland. It has a little more freedom. So that's really cool. Uh, and it has, uh, it also pays for community contributors and it will be out of money by April 6th next year. Uh, so not too bad, the community will be good. Uh, as far as what I've been working on, it's all about our community, our economy, our choice. It's the collaborative economics. The dashboard is finally out. Uh, it's not completely done, but we have our first uh, we have our first demo of it. Sorry, the zoom the zoom windows are like blocking my buttons. There we go. Uh, so we can uh, you can actually play with it. And this is a, a special shout out for anyone who wants to help review some text and, and tell us that it actually makes sense. Because one of the biggest parts of collaborative economics is really to enable people to learn, to understand what is going on with this economy before they actually decide how to use it. So the intro modules uh, include all of this all this really cool, like, this is what the token freeze is. This is what the parameters are. They link to amazing forum posts uh, that really document all of the magic uh, that is going on. And we actually are saying, you know, it's really important to have informed democracy when you're, when you're doing these things. So uh, we make people check boxes that say you actually understand what is going on here, uh, which is super cool. So uh, I'm just gonna check the boxes, just like most of you probably will, and not read the thing, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we tried, and uh, I'm just kidding. I'm sure all of you will read it, uh, but it's gonna be really cool and really informative. And then when you actually get to the tooling, you know, you'll be able to decide what the opening price is. You'll say, hey, we want to lock the tokens for 18 weeks and uh, have them thaw for 18 weeks, and that'll be really cool. And so we have some of these modules up for DAO voting and for the token lockup, token freeze. And we have uh, conviction voting is still in progress. This curve will much, do look much prettier, I promise. Uh, we also have Zargon looking over back shoulder. That's super cool. Uh, I can be in two places at once. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's, he's <laughs> the, omni the omnipresent Michael Zargon. Uh, but if you guys do dive into this dashboard, Please don't be afraid to make some issues. It's super easy to make an issue. There, there's the GitHub link. It's in this video. You can just be like, new issue. Uh, con you know, conviction voting isn't done. 
No, don't you don't need to do that. But uh, the real thing issues that we're looking for are, you know, uh, I didn't understand the token freeze part where it says this or that. And that would really help us uh, make it better so that everyone can understand what we're actually doing. And yeah, with that, I think that's everything. Maybe I'll just pass it to Tamara to tell us about the sprint. Cool, thanks. And I will, um, first I'd like to introduce our cameo appearance by the one and only um, Michael Zargum, who's joining us just to have a chat with CommonStack and everyone. Uh, and then I'm gonna go into our sprint. So I'm gonna share my screen. Uh, Alan Sargon, would you like to, to share a word? I mean, just hi, and I'm super excited. I feel a little bad, like, Zoom bombing since I haven't <laughs> regularly been in any meetings. But well, how was your common stack sprint? <laughs> well, it was a lot of running this weekend, mostly over the weekend. We ran a mini marathon, but it was fun and productive. So I'm sure we'll hear about it. You cool. might not have real, ever seen it, but we actually usually bomb you in like this. Wait, so I'm, oh I'm doing it wrong? I'm gonna it's, true. Yeah. it's true. It's true. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Always right. rough in the common stack. We appreciate that. We, we had an awesome <laughs> CCD and yeah, but I don't want to interrupt your flow. So. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah, thanks for popping in. Um, so Sprint 22, I created this slide. Am I sharing my screen? Yes. yes. Because um, it, there was quite a lot of it. Uh, you know, as Ivy picks the uh, agricultural themed and city cultural themed now, um, top uh, names for our sprints. Um, she chose this great one, which is civic culture and the art and science of controlling uh, growth and composition and health of forest and woodlands. Um, read more about it on US Forest Service. Uh, I'd just like to share our sprint board because it is empty. Um, even though we would have normally planted the sprint last uh, Monday, what we did instead is we got together. So we did better than a sprint planning uh, on the board and um, uh, some of us got together and not all of us were able to, but um, yeah, there's uh, some of us took vacation. Some of us had some, some other good things to do too. Uh, I want to say uh, now a little bit maybe about the token engineering commons. Um, the uh, forums are really on fire. Uh, there is so much activity now, like people are really engaging, so um, it feels really nice actually, and um, there's a lot of participation. I guess the one thing I want to say is um, every weekend, or the end of the week, or on the weekend, um, Suga publishes this working group recap. So it's a update from all of the different working groups. So rather than having to be on our calls, you can have a look at what's going on in the working groups and uh, get a high level overview. Um, I also want to point out that there's a lot of um, decisions that have to be made before the commons upgrade and that uh, the community has to make these decisions. So uh, on our um, forum is where we were posting these, um, these uh, advice process proposals or proposals that are in, uh, in the forum for advice process. Uh, one of those is requesting to burn and mint TEC, token address, token, uh, TEC tokens for um, members who have lost their addresses uh, or lost access to their addresses or asking for a change request. Now, at first it sounds like that doesn't sound like a big deal, but it turns out um, some people in our community rightly pointed out that there is um, potential um, you know, corruption, I guess, would be the idea that could happen. Uh, what if somebody claims that um, their address is a different address and they give a new address to have it uh, to have the tokens destroyed and one address that doesn't belong to them and minted to another address? So uh, we have um, had some discussion on the forum. There is a snap a vote on snapshot. And um, it looks like the consensus is actually that um, the proposal was, uh, to burn and mint these tokens for the addresses that uh, are requested for the members that are requesting it, but that there is some controls in place with trusted members of our community to ensure that it is the uh, rightful owner of the address, which we can do because um, the, all of our hatchers are trusted seed members. So uh, right now there's, uh, yeah, 17 votes and it looks like completely unanimous for um, allowing, like accommodating these requests to this sort of transition period between we're a hatched out and now we're a fully uh, commons. 
Okay, um, the other one I want to point out is a call for ideation. There was a um, suggestion that we actually have an opportunity as a DAO to buy our own tokens at the initialization price. So the moment that we, or the microsecond that we launched the initialization, the augmented bonding curve, the DAO can actually acquire some TEC tokens. And do we want to do that? And if we do want to do that, how many do we want? And if we do want, um, what would we actually deploy those tokens for? Uh, there were some, oops, I'm, I actually opened the wrong one. Sorry about that. There are some different ideas that came out of a, you know, a brainstorming session, like funding the reward DAO for, uh, to uh, apply those tokens as rewards um, for the praise and source grid systems, uh, to do token swaps and DAO to DAO partnerships uh, for strategic impact, value aligned impact early investors or early impact investors adding liquidity to secondary markets. And really it was any ideas that uh, anyone in our community could think about to use. So some of these are starting to um, bear fruition. Um, uh, Mitch from the TC and a uh, few of us from the um, other stewards from the TC joined a call with Agave to have an initial discussion with them. And um, okay, let's keep going. So this is the visual explainer that says where we are and we have hatched. So we're officially in phase two now. Um, we are in the, um, in fact, this is a nice visual explainer, but I really wanna highlight that there's an article on the token engineering medium, which describes what's coming next. So um, now that we have hatched, what are the next things that have to be on hatchers radars? And ultimately, uh, the token engineering commons will look like this. And um, the things that we're doing, of course, is designing the conviction voting and augmented bonding curve, selecting the parameters, submitting the parameters, uh, vote, debating on the parameters, voting on the final parameters, and then uh, deploying the commons upgrade or launching the commons upgrade. Okay. Um, last thing I want to say is uh, I'm putting out a call for help. Uh, we need help with our swag shop. So we're looking for DevOps who might know something about the um, D shop, which is a open source uh, piece of software. It's a front end, a decentralized front end. It's by the uh, origin protocol. And if anyone knows a DevOps that can help us with some technical difficulties we have, um, you will definitely help us keep the, flat, the swag showing for the common stack community. And with that, I am going to pass to Livia. Thank you, Tim. I'll just share my screen. Yeah, so I, I am catching back in the loop because I was in vacation last week. It feels very lovely to see all the team together. I wish I was there too, but Europe is a little far for Brazil. We're like going twice <laughs> in two months. So I went right here to Brazil's backyard and it was amazing to have some refreshing time. And I'm really thankful to the team and everyone that supported me uh, to do that and have some digital detox. So back to the things that are happening in, in the TUC community and, and also in the common stack community, uh, like Tim, uh, mentioned we have a few proposals that need to be approved before the commons upgrade. So this has been a very interesting time for us to restructure our governance process and have another look into it because as we evolve and as tools come into our awareness, we, we need to constantly be changing our agreements and, and practices around uh, voting and decision making. So this is uh, one of the proposals that came back from the uh, impact our intervention. Um, maybe you, you all remember that we chose a compromise. So uh, no abnormal intervention and praise Magadon were the two proposals chosen uh, to split their, uh, to, to split how we were executing uh, them both. 
So part of the no abnormal intervention was to propose a 75% governance give back to paid contributors. So here you can see some of the details of this proposal that was also specified in the proposal back then. And here we're looking mostly for a yes or no decision. So are we implementing this or not? And then the details about how this is going to work, because it's a little tricky technical wise, uh, we're going to understand as we go. So first, take a look, see if you think it's a good idea. Uh, this is an advice process phase, so everyone is uh, feel free to give your feedback here in the forum. And another proposal that is also in advice process is the community covenant. So we chose to use Celeste as a proposal arbitrator in the TEC. Celeste comes from the OneHive community and this covenant is forked from OneHive. They did a great job and we are just following the steps on how to have um, an explicit manifesto of what is the TEC, of what this community is, of our mission, vision, and values, and some of the practices that we have on-chain voting, off-chain voting, um, and how, how we operate together. So this is going to be used if any proposal is uh, disputed and if there is a need to uh, for Celeste keepers to take a better look into what is the TC about? Is this proposal um, right for the mission of the project or not? So they will look at this community covenant and make their decisions. So it's really cool if anyone provides detailed feedback. Tam gave uh, really good feedback today and this will be integrated. And then another proposal is reward systems moving forward. So again, we had this uh, praise um, debates and the impact our intervention process and a lot came up from there, especially how we can use more data analysis to um, improve our system. And some of the ideas that emerged, uh, especially from Octopus that has been helping like very closely in this process of guiding some next steps and uh, we've been talking and having some ideas together. So um, this is a proposed solution for how we're going to move forward. And we're also thinking about the integration with SourceCred and Alexandra. SourceCred, um, it's a objective contribution reward system. And Alexandra um, is, was developed for the long tail financial community and it's a bot that captures time spent in calls. So if we integrate these three reward systems, including praise and uh, improve some of the problems we were having, what type of reward systems we'll have and what is the path to make that happen? So now we've been working on this. Uh, Christopher is gonna be helping us to uh, project manage and we have a lot of contributors involved in this. So yeah, please give, give feedback to it. And then moving on, we have some uh, education <laughs> initiatives in the TEC. One of them is uh, the governance reward systems. Uh, so we're gonna have a panel this Friday um, with some people from different reward system uh, groups to share their knowledge and we'll have a debate and this is being um, this is being promoted by the Token Engineering Academy and also by Governance. And then we also have the TEC labs that uh, they just shared the fall semester and what is the plan for the labs. So if you're interested in being hands-on on the works that are happening in the TEC and in the Token Engineering community, uh, please come to the TC Labs. YGG is a really good teacher, so it's a great uh, educational initiative. And we also have Graviton Training Season 2. Uh, now with more teachers, with, uh, with more people sharing uh, this knowledge about conflict resolution. Uh, so uh, sign up 
you will get POOPs for participating. And with this POOPs, you can become a Graviton and mediate disputes uh, in your communities or in our community. And then finally, we've been experimenting with different voting types. So Snapshot is a tool that uh, we implemented recently. And here are some of the uh, some of the voting options that Snapshot offers. So single choice voting, approval voting, quadratic voting, ranked choice voting, and weighted voting. And we need to break down and understand them more to see how we're going to use each one of them and how we can educate the community and really have exercised this uh, decision-making intelligence for the collective. And we also have in the case studies side, as we onboarded Casey, uh, to help us drive this initiative. Um, she has put up a survey and with the help of Nate and Katie, we have it up in, in a type form. So please take the survey. It's really fun. Um, you're gonna be asked about how, um, what is your experience with the cultural practices of the TC? What is some of your perspectives, perspectives on the cultural build and everything we've been developing? And this will go until the 16th, so you have 10 days to participate, and this will help us to develop the best practices for self-governing communities in, in the DAO space. And with that, I will pass to Chris. Hey, everybody. Um, it's been a while since our last call, uh, but we've been busy uh, on the communication side as well. Um, not a whole lot to share for show and tell type stuff at uh, this, uh, this sprint review, but I can give you a little breakdown of what we've been working on. Um, particularly, we did a lot of communications around the hatch, which awesome. Thank you guys all for contributing. Um, hopefully you heard from it, heard about it from us. Uh, if you didn't, we'd love to hear about uh, where you heard from, uh, heard about it from, because um, yeah, it would be really interesting to hear if, if other communities are talking about this or, um, or yeah, uh, if you found out from someone else, someone told you. So um, the other major communications that we've put out recently uh, is the IXO and Earth State uh, airdrop, or sorry, uh, token distribution. Uh, and, uh, but yeah, trusted seed members uh, qualify for the initial token distribution uh, of IXO and also qualify for a year long uh, subscription to, uh, to EarthState. So if you find that um, useful, I uh, would also love to hear about uh, your experiences using uh, those tools. Um, but yeah, once again, trusted seed has been uh, recognized for uh, a curated community of altruists and um, value aligned folks. Um, we expect that to continue. Um, and we're just really happy to be sharing uh, with with all of our uh, members. Um, we've also got a, uh, some communications on the Reg regen partnership uh, coming up. Uh, we'll have a lot more um, formalized stuff like a news release type um, blog post. Um, and we'll also be having an AMA focused on that uh, once all of the details are sorted out. Uh, so keep keep an eye out for those. Um, I also was able to take some time off um, and go camping uh, in the woods with uh, some of my family. And yeah, had a good time uh, away from civilization for a bit. And uh, yeah, happy to be back. Um, that's it from, from me for this, uh, this sprint. Uh, and I'll pass to Jess. Hey everybody, so uh, we are here in Austria, as you can see by my background, um, and there are a few fun, a mix of exciting and fun things to share. So Chris mentioned that um, IGZO, we work together on building this partnership and making it official and consecrating it with, um, they wanted to generously, yeah, share uh, stakeholdership in what they're building, which is incredible. Um, so thanks, big sh thanks to Sean Conway, who is the primary um, founder and, and driver of these projects. They're looking to build zero emissions uh, proof of stake validator nodes, and they're launching a DEX in the, a decentralized exchange in the next couple of days. And they want to basically embed um, embed values in. 
the economics such as having instead of you know paying gas that they'll actually be carbon offsets so there's a lot of really cool interesting plans around um, environmental impact and how we can embed our economic systems with some of these very powerful um, incentives and also look at how we balance um, our footprint uh, with economics. So very cool. If you want to check out that blog, you can uh, find it on our Twitter. It shares about the work they're doing with the community currency pilot. Um, they're doing um, financing for uh, and verifying skill de development in Africa. They have an alpha bonds project in India um, where they're looking at how to use these DeFi mechanisms for uh, sustainable funding. So super aligned and we're really grateful that they shared these tokens and the tokens can be used um, for governance and their network. They're going to be used to vote on which social impact projects get funding um, and get kind of incubation. So that is the main use of the token right now, but of course we'll keep you updated on that. And so I hope all the trusted seed members got to claim and those um, tokens, the IGSO tokens should be coming to you within three weeks. So just stay tuned and we'll be announcing more as that comes and let us know um, if you need any support accessing those. The next thing I want to mention is uh, we're two days away from Gitcoin round 11, uh, which this round they're giving away $900,000 um, in matching grants. So look out for that. Um, Chris is leading the way um, with Peter, Peter, um, our collaborator. They're going to be putting out all the um, communications around Gitcoin and you know the drill guys you get to vote with your c-stack on your favorite Gitcoin grants so they receive extra matching from our partners over at Pembala so um, look forward to another great round and um, appreciate your support and generosity and, and sharing the good word and also amplifying the projects that you love your own projects in our community that you think you know could use a boost um, and amplify their message and, and share the amazing work that our community is doing. There's the buzzer. Doesn't mean I'm done. Not quite. That's actually <laughs> some food we ordered for all, all the all the friends here. Um, the last thing I just wanted to share is some reflections. So there we are, Jeff and I, and some other friends. Um, there were a bunch of us, Dan and um, Griff. We had a lot of friends that joined for an amazing uh, two weeks in rural Austria. And the Crypto Commons gathering was the chance to really embody and live the commons. We were living in community with 50 people, cooking together, cleaning together, um, sharing knowledge, having debates. But it was just such an incredibly um, wonderful group of people where we could share all the various reflections, agree to disagree, have lively debates about different topics. So it was incredibly fruitful and a little typical there that we're, you know, um, mushroom hunting at the crypto commons gathering, doing some, uh, some uh, forest work to gather food for the commons. So that was really fun. And I'm just going to share a couple of other snaps. There's the, some of the commons tech team presenting uh, common stack, and then we have our good colleague and friend Angela with TE Academy. She did a fantastic job outlining the work happening there, and it was an interesting mix of academic researchers and people who study commons in the kind of you know real world, I guess, and then us coming with some of the the um, token engineering discipline and looking at cyber physical commons and, and virtual communities in, in Web3. So Angela did a great job. And then our friends, Humberto and Anna with Proof of Humanity, and they are just an incredible duo. They're doing so much amazing work in the space and um, sharing the good knowledge of you know, um, universal or unconditional basic income was a new term that I heard from um, Julio was there as well with Circles UBI. So it's just beautiful to see their work and we might be talking about some upcoming collaborations. So that was pretty incredible. And then our friend Mihai from uh, Project Arc and the NFT Impact Alliance. So there's a huge alliance coming together to actually use NFTs to fund um, impact projects around the world. Hashtag real value, probably the best meme to come out of the crypto economy gathering. How can we actually use this technology to create real value in the world? So Mihai leading the charge, we had a fun um, project where we created some NFTs together and we sold one NFT um, 
to support the crypto commons gathering, which I forgot to pull up. But anyhow, and then finally, we had a really beautiful ceremony together at the end. Jeff made this really cool, he'll talk about it when I passed him. He made a really cool game to illustrate the bonding curve and have like, we had actually a currency, a CCG currency game. Um, so we got to have a feel for how like a local currency works. And at the end, we had a really beautiful ceremony to burn the money and also our money traumas. And it was a beautiful sharing circle. Everybody went around and shared some, you know, um, trauma experience um, and things that they would also like to see shift around our relationship with money and the economy. Um, and then we actually decided instead of taking money out of our common pool that we all burn the money to give uh, the the uh, collateral, the reserve pool of euros, um, we all burned our tickets so that the crypto commons gathering could keep that money that we had all put in the pool to play together. So it was, it was a really beautiful time. Jeff is getting the food right now. So, oh, okay, we've got Dan next. So Dan, I don't know also um, things you wanted to reflect. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, um, crypto Commons gathering. Oh my god, I, I could think about that for hours. <laughs> I can just do my I can just do my part, I guess. Um, and Jeff is doing it for the Commons, so you know that's that's amazing. Um, before I share my screen and let me close the delivery tracking app. <laughs> yeah. So right now, Trusted Seed, in terms of stats, uh, we are at 309 active members, which is beautiful, including amazing people like Sean Conway from IXO. Oh, yeah, that's great. Um, last month was crazy between the hatch and, and the, well, the hatch was between, between months, but basically XCC and Crypto Commons Gathering. Today. We had 94 total applications for July. That's a lot, trust me, a lot of people. Um, thinking about like uh, what happened with these people that activated the trusted seat. Uh, so basically uh, at the end of the hatch, we had 303 people. 210 were uh, hatchers directly, and 62 more of them were part of the builders as a whole. Uh, so basically, we had 272 people from the Trusted Seed, this very beautiful curated community, actively prepared to, you know, do some governance on a first microeconomy. So this is this is beautiful. This is a beautiful moment. And yeah, in terms of gardening, let me tell you some things that we're working on the, from the side of the Trusted Seeds. So uh, Christopher is back from his family vacation. So the work on the Trusted Seed dashboard is back on. That will be fun. And also, like there are a couple of small projects that like, uh, are coming in, uh, also supported by the junior gardeners. Amazing work. I'll show you some things. And yes, 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 we're working a little bit on how we Polish the notifications of people that need the, you know, haven't claimed their CS log directly. We were doing it through email, but not everybody checks their email really. So we're doing it directly, looking at the smart contract to see if you know people have actually claimed. They even noticed like some people just claim one item. I was like, wow, I haven't even no idea. Well, some people just like hats, some people just like features. That's okay. That's one side. Um, we just finished, and, and this is this is going to be presented uh, probably in the next review. But just uh, just some work around like uh, the percentage of application uh, applications to the scholarship, so successful scholarships that we've given, and total activation. So that from the beginning of the of the of the member membership activation into the trusted seat will be presented and, and open in that sense. So we had we had some fun charts uh, to look at in that in that logic. Uh, what else is there? Um, well, thinking about email as well, uh, we were looking at Hotspot a lot and having like, some conversations with um, with members in the trusted seat. Not everybody looks at email, really. Not everybody looks at Twitter or, or Telegram or Discord either. So we are very much, we had some conversations with some people that were expecting like uh, they, they may miss their email and they say like, oh, I applied like three months ago. Oh yeah, we did send you an email on this day, but you know, the pipes, you know, what's plumbing is, is tricky and the internet as well. So in that sense, uh, we are working on a, on a different complementary process just to abide, uh, tell people that, hey, you're welcome to activate anytime still has a little bit uh, things to work on. And uh, let me share quickly uh, my screen. 
Show me my screen. Is this my screen? Yes, it is. So the junior gardeners, man. I mean, many of these things have been pushed by them. And uh, you can basically see like they're already using same hub. Thanks, Dan. This is amazing. <laughs> And uh, we've been collaborating through here, and this is this is just beautiful. I mean, it's very practical. Just I, I'm drawn more into Sanghop now, even. So that's cool. Uh, let me close the, the close the delivery app. And <laughs> <laughs> on the other logic is like uh, basically now, as just mentioned, Gitcoin Grants is coming up. It's a great and amazing moment to put your your grant on conviction voting. So we had like, a, you know, the share funds from the Pamela grant that uh, Griff can explain this way better than me. I just, I just realized. But basically this is the moment to jump into conviction voting, put your grant in here. And you know, this is for the community, by the community, and this is beautiful. Um, I just had a confusion that basically I had the idea that, you know, like uh, if you put it first, had some sort of play on that, but no, it's just, Basically, you have three three days for the conviction to be fully there. So that's that's the thing. So we'll be closing three days before the grand sense so everybody's there. It's better if you just just vote, but think about like uh, some many other people will probably put their grants later. So just maybe go half half and check in a couple of days later. So that's me. I'll pass it to Jeff doing it for the comments. Nice, uh, great. So what, uh, what have we been focusing on the last sprint? Um, while we are all here in Austria, uh, while we are all together, we're talking about some uh, organizational development for the Comstack. Um, so yeah, some really excited things that we're excited to share with you uh, when we have some uh, outputs from that process. Um, another thing, uh, let me just share my screen here. We had a really amazing opportunity to, did that work? No. To share some of our research um, in the Crypto Commons gathering. Um, obviously, there were some memes made about it. Um, so this was uh, presenting some of our work on bonding curves and exploring sort of the different um, uh, opportunities that are presented. And um, we had the chance to bring in some sort of the old school uh, economist, uh, Matt Slater, um, who is representing, um, you know, the credit uh, theory of money, uh, which backs a lot of the sort of most uh, interesting um, crypto, um, you know, UBI projects and, uh, you know, the stuff Will Ruddick is doing in Kenya. Um, so yeah, really great opportunity for that. Um, obviously, we dove deeper into uh, bonding curves, augmented bonding curves, risk-adjusted bonding curves, uh, and of course, some of the, the forward-leading uh, research work going on uh, with the Holochain ecosystem. So some really exciting stuff. And uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of jokes and a lot of laughs uh, throughout the week. Um, obviously, we talked a lot about CAD-CAD as well, uh, and of course, some memes came out of that about, uh, you know, the power of CAD-CAD-driven decision-making uh, and, you know, how that is better than all of the things that, that came before in terms of algorithmic policy-making. Um, and of course, we concluded with uh, real value is real, um, tying these systems to, you know, production to real value in these economies rather than just um, sort of uh, financial trading, uh, which is where most of DeFi kind of ends up, um, was, was a really a, a big conclusion of, um, of the CCG. So there was a lot of uh, people excited about our work, a lot of people that uh, are eager to engage with our research and uh, look to deploying these tools on, you know, more than just Ethereum and XDAI, um, but to Cosmos, to Holochain, uh, to a lot of other ecosystems that, uh, that they can be extremely useful in moving forward this type of uh, decentralized collaboration. Uh, so with that, I will hand it back to uh, Tam, uh, Griff to close this out. Yeah, well, you know, we're, we're just seven people on this call, but there's so many people that have contributed to make everything that we just said. So I have a long list of praise. So obviously it's Frischel for helping with the budget and making that so great and, and for uh, uh, David uh, DYLR for pushing the the governance re for pushing out the TE comms Twitter uh, for Mitch Vitor Fabio Pedro Nuggan Marco Lauren Nate Matmanu uh, for doing all this work to make the params uh, config 
dashboard actually possible. Uh, praise Ivy and Kenny for their Twitter work. Praise Ivy for setting up the board for us and cleaning up this video and picking the sprint name. Uh, praise Zeptimus for all his work setting up snapshot vote and making a little cool video so we could all learn how to make snapshot votes. Praise Mitch for taking on the treasury management proposal with Agave and working on, on that vote. Praise Ludo for his initial work with the swag shop. Praise Joe Z and for the awesome infographics. Praise Wonka for leading the 75% governance give back effort. It's a lot of work. Uh, praise Sam for looking after the technical solution on the governance big give back and doing the research and due diligence that's required. Praise Brett for doing even more due diligence. Uh, and, and he's formerly the tech lead of Aragon and we are, couldn't be luckier to have him be reviewing the ABC contracts, not a better person in the world. Uh, praise Luke, Gabby, Will J. Griff, Rodri, Fabri, and the, Sasha, and the whole One Hive community for pushing Celeste out. Praise Lauren, Zepp, and Wonka for looking at all the other, uh, and all the other Covenant reviewers to make sure that's looking tight for the TEC. Praise YGG and Octopus and Angela for their uh, work in uh, doing, reviewing the praise system. Uh, praise YGG and the LTF community for all their work on Alexandra. Oh man, we're not even halfway through, guys. Uh, praise Aloysius, Mateo, Santi, and all the other crew, Anna Marie, uh, and everybody else for helping out on the source credit implementation. Praise Christopher for jumping in to lead the charge of the reward system. Praise YGG for pushing out the labs. Praise Wonka for pushing the gravity effort forward and launching the new Graviton training, which is so cool. You really know. Uh, praise Balancer Labs for making Snapshot even a thing. Praise Kelsey for pushing the community survey and Nate and Katie for editing it and making sure it can happen. I think Nate actually made a type form now that I think about it. Uh, either way, praise Sean for his incredible work with IXO and for partnering with us on the Trusted Seed. Praise Akene, of course. Thank you so much, Akene, for all your work behind the scenes to push out great comms. Uh, praise Kevin, Scott, and Joe, and all the other Gitcoin rock stars for running their, their uh, another Gitcoin grants round and funding the whole ecosystem. Praise Niran and Katie, uh, sorry, and Kate, and all the other Panvala rock stars that put extra matching, so donate on Gitcoin with Pan, especially to our grant, which we distribute to everyone. So yeah, grab, grab your Pan and donate. Uh, praise uh, Julio and Felix for the amazing Crypto Commons gathering, of course. Wow, incredible. Praise, <laughs> yeah. Uh, praise Matthew Slater for sharing his knowledge on monetary theory and the Credit Commons. Praise Mihai and Max Song for their amazing work with Project Arc and that incredible workshop. Uh, praise Maria and Yanese for uh, their work with the Trusted Seed. Praise Christopher for all the support in the Trusted Seed dashboard. Praise Sem for pushing the CV app so that we, so the Trusted Seed can now vote on how to distribute all the Gitcoin pan that we receive in our, in our uh, com community fund grants. Make sure to donate to that one. And then of course, I mean, come on, so much praise goes to Matthew Slater, Paco, Scott, He's right here, uh, Maritz and Eliza, Umberto, Anna, Zargam, Angela, Gustav, Roberto, Mihai, Tio, and so many other researchers for participating in the CCG and making all those dank memes at the end. Oh my God. Real value. Real value. Real value. Thank you guys so much for uh, going through all that praise and this whole call. Uh, we're so happy to be together and to, to celebrate our, uh, our sprint with you.